DNA sequencing by hybridization. Sequencing by hybridization, SBH, is a method used for reading DNA sequences, nowadays not used anymore due to high costs, but its concepts can be of value for other real-world applications. It is composed of two phases, biological and computational experiments. The former utilizes a microarray chip to determine all the subsequences of an unknown DNA sequence, i.e. subsequences of a given length KK MERS. The set of KMERS contained in the DNA sequence is called spectrum. The latter, combines the elements from the spectrum, by checking their overlapping, into a longer sequence, that do not exceed the original DNA sequence length, and, the example of an SBH experiment is shown in figure 4. SBH is composed of biological and computational experiments. In the first one, A, a microarray, containing ALKMERS, K equals 3, is used to obtain a spectrum. In the latter, elements from the spectrum are modeled as the nodes in the graph in which a Hamiltonian path is looked for, b, solid arrows represent the overlap of the two nodes equal to 2, and the dashed arrows overlap equal to 1, most of them are omitted to simplify the picture, meaning that there is a negative error between the twakmers. A path starting from ACA results in obtaining the examined DNA sequence, see the layout in, c, however, Notice that starting from node CAG1 may obtain a different, shorter solution composed of the same number of elements from the spectrum. In the ideal case, the problem is easy, while in the real experiments, two types of errors may occur which make the real problem NP hard. A negative error occurs when a K mare, being a subsequence of the examined sequence, is missing in the spectrum, while a positive error is an extra element in the spectrum not being a subsequence of the DNA sequence. Note that repeated subsequences in the DNA sequence cause negative errors because they appear only once in the spectrum. A hyperheuristic approach was first used to solve the SBH problem in REF. The solution is represented as an ordered list of elements from the spectrum that contributes to the DNA sequence, and trash, an unordered set of leftovers from the spectrum. The sequence is reconstructed with a greedy algorithm that traverses the list and tries to append every k mare with the smallest shift to the preceding one. The low-level heuristics operate on the list and trash by moving elements from one set to another. In the basic approach, we can distinguish operations on single elements, insertion from trash to list, deletion from list to trash or shift moves of the elements within the list, or operations on a cluster A group of closely connected elements. A cluster can be shifted or deleted. An extended approach changed the encoding of the solution, by allowing elements from the spectrum to appear on the list twice thus solving the problem of repetitions. Also, several new heuristics were proposed, with swap as an example. A few hyperheuristics were proposed, namely a taboo search algorithm, choice function approaches, roulette, ranked, best in decomp, and a simulated annealing algorithm. In the first method, all moves were accepted, while the last method used the Monte Carlo approach which could reject the deteriorated solution with the probability that increased with the past time. The results of the computational experiment showed that designing a good set of low-level heuristics is very important, a good set could give good results for any tested hyperheuristics, even for a random roulette choice function, while an incorrectly composed set of primitive heuristics did not allow almost any algorithm to learn which heuristic to choose. The experiments on real DNA sequence instances pointed out two algorithms to be better than others, simulated annealing and the roulette choice function. In the comparison with other algorithms designed for that problem, the usage of elements from the spectrum in the solution was comparable with those obtained by hyperheuristics, while the similarity of the solution in the examined DNA sequence was superior for tailored-to-measure algorithms.